picked up this eight quarter maple lumber uh, yesterday and what I want to do today is start out by laying out my three leg blanks so I've got this piece here which is just uh, under eight inches let me make sure again that's just under eight I believe yeah and then I have another blank over or another piece over here against the wall uh, which is about eight and a half inches wide so I'm using the small one here because I didn't think I bought enough material but I I'm gonna probably get away with it and here's how I'm gonna do this uh, because I have to laminate a piece here to get this extended uh, part of the leg what I'm gonna do is take the cutoff this cutoff this triangle piece here I turn that once this edge is, is uh, been jointed and, and straight turn that and glue that down here on this end I need um, about two and a half inches uh, more than that two and three quarter and I have three and a quarter up here now by the time you get all done jointing and edging and all that stuff uh, things are gonna shrink but I, I'm, I believe I have enough to do this my template is laying off the uh, straight sawn edge about an eighth maybe three sixteenths and then my line here that I drew with my pencil at an angle is also three sixteenths to a quarter off so I've, I've got uh, extra length and extra width um, to allow for saw curves and stuff like that okay here's so, my setup I've got my uh, track I'll, I'll call the call this just off the line so that the blade will split the line and I've got it uh, as close to that angle as I can get just eyeballing it I've got it clamped because this is such a short cut I don't want it moving on me and I'm going to make it in about two passes. three down now uh, the other one's sitting on the joiner <clears throat> what I'm going to do is take this uh, straight saw and rip edge joint it uh, take it to my table saw and rip it you know just kind of kiss this edge to get it um, parallel and then cut off my my piece up on top here and hopefully that'll be a good enough edge to glue it we'll find out if it's not I can joint actually what I'll probably do is joint this rip it uh, joint this edge and then and then make the cut um, then I can work on getting it flat and square and everything after that all right, I think this is going to work out fine. I've got uh, an X on this side, which I'm using as my reference uh, edge. It was the straight line rip uh, side, uh, then it was jointed. But I want to make sure that I do that with all three pieces, and I've, I've got X's on all of them. So I've got this located uh, near the bottom. You can see up here I've got about uh, maybe three-eighths of an inch. So I'm going to take this line and scribe it 
Uh, if I can find my pencil. And I want the cut to be on this side of the line. All right, I've got this clamped. Uh, my uh, piece of aluminum extrusion here for my saw guide here is clamped underneath to keep it from moving. And I've got the board clamped up here, and I've got the clamp that's holding this clamped with a clamp at 90 degrees. I can show you that when I get done cutting it. I just want to make sure that I do not go through and hit this clamp because I will be able to complete this cut uh, with there's no obstructions here. So I'm going to take it slow. Yeah, I've only got it set to 10 millimeters. I'll make a pass and just keep uh, proceeding through slowly this time and see how it see how it goes. This will be my first attempt at this. Right. Very decent. Now you'll be able to see, I think. I right. let me show you this if I can. That's how I've got that clamped. So this clamp is holding the, the down pressure clamp to the extrusion. Worked out pretty slick. So I'll do this uh, two more times and we can glue them up. All right, the other two pieces are good. Uh, this one is my problem child here. You can see that I've got this. Uh, this would have been the, which side? Oh yeah, this was the outside edge, but it had been rough sawn and it's got this round over. So I need to rip that away. And I've got room to do that. If I take off a quarter of an inch, at least that's where I'm going to start. And I put my template up here. You can see that I can take that and drop this down probably a good good half inch and still, and still have plenty of material to work with. So what I'm going to do is rip it down to about right there. Then I'll have enough, this will be enough to drop down and cover that. All right, I took a couple of passes with my table saw. And that cleaned this up fairly well. I'm going to joint this edge though. And then I'm going to run this through the joiner. I've got to get rid of this out here. And this right in here. So I think a couple of, a couple, three passes with this. Get, take care of that. And maybe just one or two passes here. So I'll start with this first then do the other uh, piece. I'll come back and see what it looks like before I glue it up. Alright, that cleaned up pretty nice. Uh, still put my template on here and have plenty of room. The thing that I'm learning is that uh, this, this could be jointed all the way back to this point right here, so I just drew a pencil line across this way, and then as I'm running on the joiner, I can see how much I have left. But that's that's good right there. I mean, I could take it all the way back to this point, but I don't want to uh, get too carried away. So I'm going to go with this. I might let's see here. I may make one more pass 
Although when I think about it, now I don't need to because this is all going to get, this is going to get ripped off this way a little bit. So the next thing that I need to be concerned about is where am I going to, uh, I'm going to put a couple of dominoes in here, but I don't want them to stick through into my show side. So back here, I've got plenty of room. I can drop one right in here. And probably one, let's see, maybe right in here, depending upon how deep I go. That should be enough to keep it from sliding on me. Yeah, that'll be good. All right. This one's good to go. I'll work on the other two. Uh, glue them up and then we'll come back. I, I'm just going to have to let these sit for a while. And All right, I've dialed in my uh, dominoes. I'm going to use these 8 by 40 got my lines here. I'm going to go tight. Yeah, I'm going to go tight on both and see if I've got them. I should have them laid out fairly closely. 